Hello there, this video will cover how to install LMMS, formerly known as Linux Multimedia Studio, in a Linux desktop on an Android. LMMS is a full music production studio. Audio is unavailable while composing, but it can instantly be played on the Android side once rendered. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. There will be commands, further information, and updates in the pinned comments for this video. To install LMMS, we can use Synaptic, which we can get to by going to the menu. And in the Preferences section, we can click on Synaptic Package Manager. When Synaptic has opened up, we can first click on the Reload button to get an up-to-date list of the available software in Synaptic. When Synaptic is done reloading, we can then click on the search button and search by name for LMMS. After searching for LMMS, we can then right click on it, select Mark for installation, and then click on the Mark button for the additional required changes. From there, to install LMMS, we just need to click on the Apply button and then click on Apply again to confirm that we want to install LMMS. When the install is finished, we can generally ignore and close out of any errors, and then we can also close out of Synaptic. Before we start up LMMS, we need to create a script for it so it will run. We can do that from a terminal by first executing nano space slash usr slash bin slash go lmms. This will create a file named go lmms in the slash user slash bin file path. Now for the first line in the script, we will put in pulse audio space dash dash start space ampersand. The pulse audio dash dash start starts up pulse audio, which is required for LMMS to run. The ampersand at the end will make this line run in the background. For the second line, we can put sleep space 2. This will give time for pulse audio to start up. If LMMS has trouble starting up on your device, then you can try experimenting with the time. Next, for the third line, we will put in LMMS space ampersand ampersand. LMMS starts up LMMS and the ampersand ampersand makes the script wait until we are done with LMMS. For the last line, we can put in pulse audio space dash K. This will stop pulse audio. We are now done with creating the script, so we can press enter out of good practice because it's like pressing enter to execute a command. From there, we can do Control O, Enter, and then Control X to save the file and exit Nano. After we've done that, we can do chmod space plus x space slash usr slash bin slash go lmms. This will make the go lmms file executable. Now we can close out of the terminal, and all we have left to do is change the lmms launch command so that it uses the go lmms script. We can do that by going to the menu, and in the sound and video category, we can right click on lmms, select properties, and then in the window that comes up, we can go to the desktop entry tab. From there, we can change the command to go lmms. After we've done that, we can click on the OK button to save the change and close out of the File Properties window. Now we can open up LMMS from the menu, and in the Sound and Video category, we can click on LMMS. In the first window that comes up, we can click on the Yes button to create the default directory. Keep in mind that this can be changed at any time in LMMS settings. From here, we just give LMMS a moment to start up. If LMMS does not open up for the first time, then you may need to open it up more than once when LMMS is first initializing. When the setup window comes up, we can leave everything as is and click on the OK button. From there, in the Restart LMMS window, we can click on the OK button and then give LMMS another moment to start up. In LMMS, there are plenty of demos that we can listen to and play around with. To access the demos, we just need to click on the My Projects button on the left side. 
and then click on the pull down next to demos and then double click on any of the demos to open them. Depending on the project size, you may need to wait a minute or two for the project to open. After the demo project has opened up, in order to hear it, we'll need to export the project as an audio file, and then we can open up the audio file from the Android side where we will be able to listen to it. To export a project as an audio file, we just need to go to the File menu and select Export. Then from the window that pops up, we can navigate to the slash downloads file path. After navigating to the slash downloads file path, we can also change the file type to .mp3. After we're finished with that, we can click on the Save button, and then we can click on the Start button, where LMMS will take a couple of moments to export the .mp3 file. When the file is finished exporting, we can then go to the Android side and navigate to the Downloads folder. Once we've reached the Downloads folder, we can then open up the .mp3 file we just exported, and now we can hear the demo. That's a pretty cool trick. For more information about LMMS, there is the official LMMS website, which is lmms.io. Here they have downloads available cross-platform for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. They also have documentation that covers how to use LMMS, how to navigate through it, and more. Note that there are also YouTubes that cover LMMS. Last but not least, we can get more help and documentation from a terminal by doing LMMS space dash dash help, or we can do man space LMMS for more detailed documentation. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!